Today I want to show you how to do a quick and simple little pattern adjustment to a collar. It can be for a shirt collar, it might be for a dress collar, it doesn't matter. The pattern that I'm using is the grain line archer pattern. And what we're doing is we're converting a two-piece collar, upper collar and under collar, to a one-piece collar. So the reason that we want to do that is because this edge of the collar right here, this is the point and this is the neck edge. So this is the point that's furthest away, you know, under your chin at the front of your collar. So it, what it does is it eliminates this seam at the front. And if you're doing something like putting a little buttonhole here at your collar point because you want to make a button down shirt collar, or even just doing top stitching along this seam, you're not going to have any unevenness because of having a seam allowance inside there. So it's a really nice way to improve the top stitching and appearance of your collar and it's really simple. So it's worth doing. Okay, so I'm going to remove these pattern pieces. All I did was trace a full version here of the upper collar and then there's two copies of a right and a left side for the under collar. Super simple. You want to make the point of the under collar match the point of the upper collar. So this one is going to go here on this side and this one is going to go here on this side. And you end up with this kind of slightly weird bird wing shaped collar piece, but it's okay. It's actually cooler. Now I've also, this line here is the seam, is the stitching line, and you want to line those up, tape down after you've lined up on your seam line. And then you take your scissors and you're going to do a little bit of trimming. So I'm going to trim from the under collar, that little extra triangle, and then from the upper collar, I'm going to reach underneath and trim away the seam allowance. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. need those little paper bits of which of course don't want to pick up from the paper or from the cutting mat then flip this around to the back side and just tape that down just to keep that edge a little bit smooth and there you go so then you're going to want to draw in. I actually omitted this. I should have put my grain line in here. I need to draw that here. It's going to be perfectly parallel to the center back of this collar. And what that's going to do is that will automatically put your under collar on the bias a little bit. It'll be a little bit stretchy. A tip that's going to help your under collar also is to trim the upper edge of your under collar just slightly about an eighth of an inch is good enough okay so i'm doing this without my glasses so it could be very different than an eighth of an inch but think an eighth of an inch and what that does by making this under collar just a bit smaller is that pulls the under collar underneath your upper collar so you don't have this edge fighting to get out and be visible on the top you know once this collar is completely stitched together that's also the reason why I don't put a seam line usually on this center back seam of the under collar because you're going to stitch this together like this also and 
technically the seam allowance is a half inch for this pattern piece but because it's on the bias a lot of times I am going to pull this in a little bit because I want to pull that under collar to the underneath of the upper collar. So that's how fast and easy it is to convert a collar pattern to a one piece collar and you will find out when you try to stitch this onto a blouse or a shirt how much better it looks and how much better your top stitching looks.